concept is pretty simple. As a company, you created a lot of articles. So you also want to promote your articles through your newsletter as well. However, you don't want to waste time and effort adding your stories manually every week to your newsletter. So we just set it up once in tools like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, or any other tool that supports our RSS feed. You set out the layout, your list, your audience, and every time you publish something within StoryChief, StoryChief will ask you whether or not you want to include that article in your next newsletter that will go out. So let's navigate to the channels page. And in the channels page, let's go to the email marketing section here. And here, in my example, we will be working with MailChimp. So let's click on MailChimp. However, if you're using another tool that supports RSS, just click the RSS channel and follow the same steps. So let's go ahead and click on add a new destination. And we'll go ahead and give it a name. So let's go ahead and put in the name weekly newsletter. You also have this URL, which we'll need later on. So go ahead and copy it already and then navigate to your mailing channel. In MailChimp, go to Optimizations, Customer's Journey, go down and then click on Share Your Blog Post page. And here I will give it the same name. However, it doesn't have to be the same name. And then go ahead and choose your audience and then click on Start. So next it asks you to add the RSS feed URL. This is the URL that you need to grab from StoryChief, which I already did. And then it asks you, when do you want to send these emails? I want to send it every week on Monday at four. And then we can proceed to the next step. In the next step, you want to choose the audience again. Now, just give it some extra info. For example, the campaign name, is it for internal use, the email subjects, and so on. Then the next step is choosing your layout. So personally, I always go for the basic layout because it's super simple and I'm sure that all the devices will receive my email properly. So when you're choosing the layout, you can customize everything. For example, the logo, the design of your email, just make sure you add this RSS item block. This is the actual block that will include all the articles. You can customize the preview. So for example, do you want to include the expert, the titles only, all the full content, or maybe custom? Also, the styles are important, so you can choose the font here. Just click on Save and Continue. And if we navigate back to the Story Chief page and then save the settings. Next, if we move to the Stories page up here and then go into this first story here. And then we go to the Audience page up here. You will see that my Newsletter Digest will appear automatically and it's already active. So every time you publish your story, you can either activate or deactivate this channel. It depends on whether or not you want to include this article in the next upcoming newsletter or not. So go ahead and try it yourself. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.